The Kerr are a race of aliens from the furthest reaches of the universe. They are described as space globalists, a militarized species of conquerors whose only goal as a society is to lay conquest to other planets and enslave other life forms. Their race's true name is unknown, as the Kerr is only a pseudonym used by other alien races to refer to them. The Kerr view all other species as lower life forms, feeling no sympathy for anyone as they drive other beings to extinction. The reason the Kerr continually expand their reign is due to their most valuable weapon, the exosuit, being made from organic material. By enslaving a race of alien monsters known as the Big Mamas, the Kerr are able to create highly advanced weapons of mass destruction that have endless possibilities in regards to their power. Big Mamas are colossal alien monstrosities kidnapped from the deepest reaches of space by the Kerr alien race. It's to be assumed Big Mamas are not the actual name of their species, this is merely what the Sumerians dubbed them. Much like the Serpoans, every Big Mama is exactly identical. It's unknown if this is due to genetical engineering by the Kerr for efficiency or simply a natural occurrence in the Big Mama's evolution. The Big Mamas themselves seem to bear no self-awareness or intelligence, merely responding to whatever is placed in front of them by devouring it without question. Despite being a biological entity, its purpose is almost undeniably militaristic and artificial in nature. After enough organic material is consumed by the Big Mama, its bizarre digestion system then compresses it, molding it all into a mechanical bodysuit to be worn for combat and conquest. Depending on the quantity and quality of life fed to the Big Mama, the quote-unquote exosuit that is produced will differ greatly every manufacture. Ironically enough, the Kerr's actual appearance is that of a soft squid-like body that are barely able to endure any average planet's atmosphere for too long without croaking. By Finding the perfect conduit for their vessels, the Kerr are easily able to bring entire civilizations to their knees with little resistance. Because the exosuit's abilities and strength are determined by the quality or type of flesh fed to the Big Mama, the differences in one suit from the next can be astronomical. From simple exosuits like a giant praying mantis with blades for legs, or Sudako, a small suit that could fly and shoot sniper rifles with electromagnetic bullets, to reality bending exosuits like Hastur's, with the ability to manipulate space itself and create its own pocket dimension, Takomeshi's, who came equipped with an entire anti-gravity cannon, as well as extremely supernatural exosuits like Emotako, a suit that allowed its wearer to enter a parallel dimension where they could still interact with the physical plane, meaning while Emotako was intangible, they were free to inflict as much damage as possible on their enemy with no repercussions. But then even from that surreal exosuit, we go back to like the jet booster exosuit, which is literally just giving its wearer jet packs to increase their speed and striking strength. There is an exosuit for almost every Kerr fighting style. And all of these Kerr fought on par with and sometimes overwhelmed other extremely powerful supernatural entities. The Kerr always travel in squads as well, meaning they can be as lethal as they need to, depending on how ruthless they plan to be. The Kerr's advance unit, which only consisted of 10 aliens was enough to cripple Earth's defense forces and make way for the entire Kerr fleet full of warships that laid waste to the ancient planet of Sumer long before. Had Reiko Kashima, the most powerful yokai that ever lived, not interfered with the Kerr's invasion of Earth, the space globalists would most likely have succeeded in conquering the entire planet. The protagonists barely survived an encounter with 10 Kerr. Even the Serpoans themselves were unable to stop the Kerr and ended up being manipulated by them. Still, Despite that consistent hostile nature, the Kerr were somehow able to forge an alliance with Count St. Germain. Though, this is most likely due to his unmatched strength gaining their respect in some way, genuinely being one of the only life forms the Kerr might ever consider equal.